I mean by being the content is actually getting you out there and getting real world exposure in newspapers, magazines, trade journals, radio, TV, all that sort of stuff. What we're going to cover is why PR. I'm going to actually give you an entire video talking about why PR. We're going to also cover about how to find the hook. And the hook is basically the topic of your press release. Why the media would want to interview you. What's the story there? Finding the story, finding the hook. We're going to cover actually writing the press release. We're going to give you some templates. We're going to give you step-by-step -step breakdowns of how to actually go about structuring your press release that will not only get read by the journalists, that will get response from the journalists. We're also going to talk about bio sheets and Q&As. This is something a lot of people don't know about. But what you can do is you can creatively help a journalist structure the article in your favor. By actually providing a bio sheet and some suggested questions and answers, it's going to show you as a professional interviewee, show the journalist that you know what you're doing, but more importantly, make their job easy. And quite often, you'll be amazed at how lazy some of these journalists are, or I probably should say busy, but I'll use the word lazy, uh, and they'll actually just take your Q&A sheet and verbatim ask you the questions in the exact sequence you want. So you can structure these Q&As to get the exact interview, the perfect interview for what you're trying to do. We're going to talk about distribution, how to get your press release out there, how to handle yourself in the actual interview, plus a bunch of other surprises as well. So that's all the content that's going to be in just Module 1. Then in Module 2 of the Going Analog program, we're going to cover supplying the content. And this is about where you give the magazines the content ready to be printed. So actually getting your articles, you become the journalist, and getting those articles printed in the magazines and trade journals, and even on other websites and blogs. It's basically guest blogging in the real world. So we're going to talk about how to find the media you actually want to try and target. How to structure your article writing so it fits with real world magazines and newspapers requirements. How to even outsource that entire process how to pitch your articles to magazines, trade journals, and all that sort of stuff so they get accepted. Plus, as always, a bunch of other surprises along the way. I really want to over-deliver. So make sure, as we're going through these modules, you give me feedback. Remember, at Preneur is my username on Twitter, or preneuradmin at gmail.com is the best place to get response from my team about any question you have along this whole program. And once I've gone through those first two modules, there's module three direct mail. We're going to cover a ton in the direct mail module. Everything from the rules of DM, how to actually go about doing a direct mail campaign successfully. A really cool trick called the post-it trick. And we're going to cover that and some of you may be aware of it. If not, it's going to blow your mind of how easy doing direct mail is going to be. How to actually get very, very uh, high response rates very, very quickly without having to do a lot of work. Remember, this is all about getting one of these modules implemented on a weekly basis in one CFT. One 30-minute critical focus time moment. So also in Module 3, we're going to cover multimedia mailings, also buying lists. This is one of the most surprising uh, elements of this entire course. And when I mean surprising, I mean it actually surprises most people when they learn they could actually possibly buy lists of people in their target market for less than they're paying right now for AdWords or pay-per-click style leads. Let me say that slightly differently for you to make sure it sinks in. Right now, you're paying or possibly paying X amount per click. Maybe it's a dollar a click. Maybe you're in a competitive niche. Maybe it's higher. Maybe you're in a smaller niche and it's less. Let's say a dollar a click for ease. Now, if your opt-in rate is 20%, that means one in five people that hit your website opt into your mailing lists. So that's costing you $5 for a lead. And that person hasn't even proven that they're willing to buy or have any money. Yet, what you can do is you can go out in the real world, talk to list brokers, I'm going to show you how to do that, and actually buy lists of people who have already bought products, so they're showing that they actually have money, and they're willing to pay for that sort of solution or product you're selling for less than $5. So it's a much higher targeted, better qualified prospect or lead at a lower price. So a lot of people will actually be shifting their AdWords budget over to this area. It's amazing. And you can actually buy email addresses as well. Now, there's also, as usual, a bunch of surprises. Now, in Module 4, we're going to talk about going offline with autoresponders. Now, we're all aware of what autoresponders are, but in this session, what we're going to talk about is offline autoresponder sequences. Now, how to actually set up an 
autoresponder sequence we're all familiar with on autopilot in the real world using real world mail. Address stamps or addressed envelopes with real world stamps, fully customized mail merch, all that sort of stuff, very, very cost effectively. I'm going to cover that automated system that I recommend for everyone use and show you and walk you through how that operates. Postcard mailing secrets. Most of this autoresponder stuff will be done by uh, postcards or twofold or threefold cards as well. I'm going to show you all those secrets there. Then also going to talk about how to actually test your offline marketing online. So testing online for offline success. So how to actually work out which card, which headline, which image on the uh, postcard is going to get you the better response. How to test that online very, very effectively. And finally, what I want to talk about is tracking offline marketing online. How to actually track what works in your offline real world marketing through Google Analytics and other online tools. And again, a bunch of surprises. So this is the overview of the entire Going Analog course. Hope you guys are, are, are very excited. I know you should be. There's a lot to learn here, but again, I'm going to break it down for you and show you how to implement all this stuff in just one CFT a week. So again, make sure you got your notepad handy, pens ready, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.